Hello, this is the presentation of the course B99A1 for distance students. The course is entitled Literature and Art and is a B2 level. So I'm your teacher, Céline Turel, and this is a very bad photo of me, but this is to give you a human face on this voice. Uh, you can write me to the following email address, or you can just uh, use the eCompus interface to contact me. So what are we going to study this semester? This is the course content. Um, as the title suggests, we're going to study the interrelations between great literary text and visual arts. So we will combine both literary study and painting analysis, still, of course, paying attention to English language and making sure you improve your skills. So the objectives are the following. At the end of this course, you should be able to understand and analyze a literary text in English. This is something you probably already know how to do, but we will try to make sure you do it well. Uh, you should be able to describe and analyze a picture or work. So this is maybe new to you. Uh, we're not going to be too technical, but a few um, hints at how you analyze a painting, for example, can be useful. You will be able to identify and define the literary and artistic movements studied over this course, define the notions studied in this course, and finally, discuss the relations between a literary text and its artistic adaptation or illustration, both in an oral presentation and a written presentation. As I said, the level of the course is B2. Uh, so this is the descriptor of what you're supposed to already be able to do. Uh, if you are a C1 student, don't worry, um, you will find um, much to uh, chew on in this class. And if your level is rather B1, don't worry, you can always ask for uh, more help if you find the text too difficult or the activities too difficult. So, we will work on consolidating your B2 level. If you have a C1 level, you probably will discover some new content, which might be interesting for you guys. Um, and this is going to take place in two, um, under two forms. First, in our production, you will create an audio guide. I will go back to that. And you will also write a dossier. You will, of course, work on the specific vocabulary of paintings, arts, and literature. So your final task for this course is the following. So a famous art gallery has put up an exhibit on the following theme, Shakespeare in paint. And they're looking for people to create audio guides for each text and painting pair of the exhibit. And you have been chosen for this mission. So as you understand it, the exhibit both combined a text by Shakespeare and its adaptation in painting. Okay, so you, ha you are going to present that. So the final task is divided into two subtasks. First, a dossier, which is written work, of course. It's going to be a preparation for the audio guide you're going to produce at the end of the semester. It's going to account for 50% of your final grade, and it's here to show the link between the text and the work of art of your choice. So, the theme is Shakespeare, which gives you plenty of opportunities to choose from, uh, from Hamlet to Romeo and Juliet to Macbeth. Uh, Shakespeare has been represented in the arts in, under many, many forms, so you have much, I mean, a lot of choice. So your job is to show that link between the text and the work of art. It is a work of research, so you need to mention your sources, you need to respect a certain academic format. I give you uh, the examples here. Use word font, font of 12, justified, with a margin and a double interline. You will uh, find a grid um, to be clear about what I expect in this work. It should be three pages long, and the due date is November 26th. So, what should be inside that dossier? You should basically have three parts. One part presenting the text you have chosen to work from. So, really a focus on the literary aspect of it, its main characteristics. The second part on the painting itself. Uh, it can be also be a sculpture or um, another work of art of your choice, but paintings are maybe the easiest choice. Same thing, the analysis of this work. And of course, the third part is your analysis of their interrelations, okay? How one influenced the other one, how one inspired the other one, all right? We'll go back to this and we'll do that in, during uh, the course. The final task is the production of, of an audio guide. If you've been to museums, I'm, as I'm sure you have, uh, you know that you have the possibility to borrow an audio guide and listen to explanations while you circulate in the exhibit. 
So in front of each painting, you have someone's voice explaining to you what you should understand from uh, about the painting. So this is your job. Do the same thing with the same pair text work of art as you've worked on in the dossier and produce an audio guide to the public. So the due date is December 17th, just right before Christmas. It's the other 50% of your final grade. And it's exactly the, I mean, you don't have to do the whole work again. You worked on the text and the painting in your dossier. So you just base your work on that, okay? But this time it's all in English. And you can't just read out three pages of what you've written. It's just going to be too boring. So you have to adapt it for uh, to be more lively, okay? So the, the goal is, what should the public remember from the text and work of art you've chosen, okay? What are the essential characteristics you want them to memorize, all right? It should last for three, four minutes maximum. And again, you can't just read from your paper, okay? I will recognize what you wrote in your dossier. You can, of course, base the content on it, but it has to be new. It has to be oral. Okay, I hope, you, I hope, I hope I'm clear about that. So let's get started. The first activities are already online. You can get started right now. If you have any questions, don't forget, you can write to me anytime.